My name is Austin Bolin. I'm a technologist in the server storage division of Dell Technologies and also serve as co-chair of the work group that designs and develops the NVMe Express Management Interface or NVMe MI for short. And today I'll be discussing the new NVMe MI 1.2 spec, uh, which was recently released as part of the NVMe 2.0 uh, library of specs. The NVMe MI spec uh, provides an industry standard way for managing NVMe devices out of band, uh, independent from the host operating system. Uh, usually this is done through a, a BMC or baseboard management controller. And what this does is allow system makers to provide a consistent way to manage NVMe devices, regardless of which host operating system the user is running. Uh, and these management operations allow the user to control the full life cycle of NVMe devices uh, by providing the ability to discover, monitor, configure, uh, update, and provide additional security for the NVMe devices. We're now doing much more sophisticated operations via NVMe MI, like the TCG Opal security protocol for data at rest encryption. And not having a reliable way to do that uh, could prevent access to user data. So it's extremely critical that we design a reliable interface. Uh, and so for NVMe MI 1.2, uh, we continue to evolve the interface to optimize for these use cases uh, to make them more efficient and resilient based on lessons learned from using the interface over the years. Uh, we also added support for a variety of new use cases, such as the ability to recover from a corrupted system BIOS image uh, for use cases in client systems, such as desktops and laptops, uh, in support of the NIST standard for firmware resiliency. Uh, and we added new security features, such as the ability to lock down commands from being executed to prevent uh, unintended or malicious changes to NVMe devices. Uh, and finally, uh, we made some structural changes to the specification uh, to align with the refactoring efforts that were done for the NVMe 2.0 library of specs. So you get a good, consistent experience across all of the NVMe specs. Historically, the NVMe MI spec is focused on enterprise server use cases. We're now seeing interest in NVMe MI from other market segments, such as client systems for the BIOS recovery use case mentioned earlier, and from hyperscalers for debug and triage of NVMe devices when the in-band interface or host operating system is unavailable. Uh, and of course, as NVMe technology continues to mature and the use cases expand, uh, we'll continue to update the NVMe MI spec to support those new use cases. The NVMe MI 1.2 spec is uh, currently available for public download on the NVMe Express website. Uh, and I'd encourage developers or anyone else interested in learning more about NVMe technology or the NVMe Express organization to visit the website today.